Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here playing some more Meteor Fall. And now that we've completed all the champion spotlights, each and every one of which had hilarious results, let's go ahead and do this, you know, oh, what the, <laughs> do this Hearthstone dungeon run style where I'll cycle through the four characters until I've beaten the game with all of them or given up because of my own incompetence. Since we technically have done the warrior twice and everybody else once, let's go ahead and pick things up with Greybeard. In fact, let's go ahead and actually unlock one of these cards. Um, so you can get Arcane Shock, which deals six damage, but it consumes an additional charge for each other card that was played this turn. I actually don't know if that means that you cannot play it. Like, let's say you have one charge currently on it, and you play, like, another card. Can you play the Arcane Shock, or can you not, because it would take up too many charges? Don't know. Uh, then there's Lightning Storm, which is really nifty. It deals just two damage, but whenever you draw it, it deals a damage for each charge that's on it. So it actually deals three damage when you straight up draw it, regardless of whether you use it for stamina or for damage. And then there's Sap, which deals three damage and restores a charge to a random spell if the enemy is below half hit points. Obviously, obviously this is a more of like a late game oriented type of card because it um, doesn't really matter much in like the first deck, but once the level ups get further apart and recharging your spells becomes more of a big deal, then this can be, you know, a useful thing to have. Now, you might say, but Boris, why are you unlocking a card for the wizard? You know, don't you want to wait for something really good? Nope, I'm fine with it. Each of these cards only costs 100 gems. It only takes a handful of games to get up to 100 gems, so it's not really that big of a deal. I'm just happy to, you know, unlock a card for Greybeard right off the bat here. And let's get the Lightning Storm, because that seems fun. Now, one thing I want to find out right here is whether the random person on the internet was right when they said that this replaces one of your attack cards as opposed to being added to your deck. See, it says it has been added to your starting deck and will begin showing up in the dungeon as well. So, very good. Now, let's see my deck. Of course, I first have to pick the level. Let's go to the crypt and take a look at the deck. Ha ho, buddy! Random person on the internet, you were right. That replaced an attack card. Now that is a very different thing from being, quote, added to your deck. That's, I, that, designer, if you're watching this, that's, I think, a pretty significant thing to fix because I can imagine many people, myself included, who would just hold off on unlocking new cards because they're like, well, I don't want to add this card to my deck. It dilutes my deck. It's a nifty card, but I don't want it in there. Whereas if it replaces an attack card, it, it, the standards for including it get a lot smaller. It's not a matter of now, is this card, th card worth diluting my deck for? But instead, it's just, is this card better than a basic attack? And the answer is, like, just about everything in the universe is better than a basic attack, which makes it a whole much better proposition. So uh, I, I recommend, for, for the player's sake, designer, that you please update that Esperanto, because uh, otherwise people aren't going to use the stuff that you spent time putting into your game and never realize what they're missing out on. Well, anyway, that makes unlocking cards a much better proposition than I previously thought. Let's go ahead and begin with our filthy gobloid. So, I obviously do not need to recharge any spells, but I will get my time back. I think it's worth it to spend two stamina, especially now that I don't have any don't have as many attack cards in here. I'll do that again. Searching for those spells. And there's the Ice Bolt, which will actually not finish him off. Um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I should have actually discarded the Ice Bolt. Because it's not going to kill him. And I don't need the freezing because I'm going to level up and get all my health back anyway. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake, actually. Wait, why was I losing health for that? Well, that I was losing health for those stabs. I shouldn't have been because freezing reduced the damage. Um, is that like a hidden thing in this game where damage cannot be reduced to zero? Okay. Well, anyway, um, I guess I'll shoot a fireball at him. Obviously, you can try to, like, wait and get a different card so you're not wasting a fireball charge, but we're going to level up soon anyways and get all the charges back, so let's just not worry about it too much. Okay. Back. And that'll kill him. There we go. That, that made it much better. The wizard is definitely sensitive to the order in which you draw cards. I mean, everybody is, but it seems especially true for the wizard. Okay, so we can get another fireball or a cleansing potion. Remove all debuffs. Destroy new sets. Man, that's going to be sitting in your deck, taking up time every time it shows up for a long time before it matters. Now, later on in, like, the second deck, I would have actually picked this because, like, when you get, like, bleed six on you, you just lose the game and it feels so frustrating because there's nothing you can do. But as it is, the only point in taking this would be if I did not want to dilute my deck with a fireball. But I think fireball is still a good enough card that I will dilute my deck with it. 
Okay, it's time to face off against a scavenger. Meditate. Um, yes, I will go ahead and use it to just get my time back. I think at this point it's fine to Ice Bolt. Now this is interesting. Do I get the charge on Ice Bolt back? I don't think that's even worth the stamina. There's another Ice Bolt. Okay, let's pay attention. Freeze 2 means damage should be decreased by 2. Okay. That's a lot more than 2. That's, oh my god, a lot more than 2. Oh, well, he killed himself. Okay. Well, hmm. I guess we're going to the temple. And I would like to, man... It, it's the thing about getting rid of the attacks is although they are bad, you have a lot more charges that you end up spending than you get back with your meditates. But I think it's still correct to get rid of your attack cards. And then maybe I'll try to get like more meditate cards back in my deck. Okay, this is very risky because I could very well just die. But I'm gonna go for it. If I die, then I die. You know, whatever. It'll be just a short run. It's fine. Right, it's ice bolt, fireball, and if I get another one of those, I can win. Yep, there we go. Gamble pays off. I get some extra gold and some experience. And you know, if I had rested, I would have just missed that on that experience, and I would have been two experience short for the whole rest of the game. Let's go for health. I don't think stamina is that valuable for the wizard. Okay, what do we got here? Skip the pool and venture forward, or plus two stamina, but you know, this time I'm actually not gonna do that. I don't think it's that valuable to get the stamina, and as a wizard, I would like to actually have a bit more survivability. Okay, well we got another early temple, so that means that we can get rid of our final attack card. Now what's really interesting is that I, I could actually see myself ignoring these temples with the wizard after I've unlocked all three of the wizard special cards, because once those have been unlocked, there actually won't be any attack cards in the deck, and then it's not clear what is actually garbage in your deck that you should delete. You know, what is it that you would want to delete out of here? You want to get rid of a fireball, an ice bolt, not as many meditates? You know, it's kind of interesting. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and fight Mr. Sawbones. Meditate. Um, okay, fine. I'll use the stamina and get the time back. Fireball. Another fireball. Very good. Hmm, sure. We'll do it. I have plenty of stamina, so even though it's not that useful, now that I have no attack cards in my deck, I might as well just burn the stamina on meditating a whole lot. That's okay, five damage, seven damage. No, five damage and he got stamina back, so just five damage. Now, do I use this ice bolt? Obviously, a fireball will kill him at this point, so I'm just wasting a charge for nothing. As long as any of the next three cards are fireballs, this does literally nothing, just waste a charge. So I'm going to actually get rid of it. Lightning Storm just buzzes and deals three damage. I see no reason to use a charge here. Well, wait a minute. Do I? Because now I don't really want to spend a Fireball charge. But if I use a Lightning Storm charge, then from this point on, whenever I draw Lightning Storm... Yeah, I'd rather waste a charge on Ice Bolt than a charge on Lightning Storm. Let's see, let's use Ice Bolt to finish him off. Okay, we need two more monsters to get a level up. My Meditate cards definitely make a bigger difference now. Let's get a small shop. 16 health is still enough for the next two monsters. Ooh, Inferno, that sounds exciting. Six damage and reduce target stamina. Well, stamina is not the greatest thing to reduce by one. I'd much rather reduce his time by one, but still, six damage is a lot. So I'm just gonna buy this. In fact, I'm gonna buy the other one too. Let's just get that, uh, get, get a lot of spell power in my deck. Try to make full use of the fact that um, all my attack cards are gone. Okay, so fireball, bow. Fireball, bow. Can I get one of my Infernos? Hmm. Interesting. So if I don't get my Thunder or a uh, Fireball or something or another Ice Bolt, then this does nothing. But yeah, we'll do it. You know. Okay, can I move around? I guess I can't. Well, um, I will... Wait, which which card is this? Is this Meditate 2 or Meditate 1? Oh, crap. Um, it was Meditate... One. Okay, good. Because I want to I wanna keep that Ice Bolt totally depleted, and then when I draw my, my Meditate 2, I'm going to use it to get back the Ice Bolt. So I'm using my Restoration more efficiently. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. What What happened? 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 7 is... Oh, 15. Right, I, I had 19. Okay. Well, get a free kill, which is cool. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I can do another fight. Okay. Lose five health, that will literally kill me, so nope. Let's get ten gold instead. Blacksmith or treasure? Well, I think rather than adding cards to my deck, I want to just improve a card. And a card is all I can improve at the moment. So what needs to be improved the most? Well, I think Meditate's the weakest link. What about Lightning Storm? 
deals two damage per charge when drawn. Holy bananagrams! Well, that's definitely got to be it, right? That's just an extra three damage whenever I draw it. That's so good. Uh, okay, do I fight a cultist with four hit points? I don't think I can one-shot this guy, so I have to rest. Do I fight a necromancer with eight hit points? Oh, man. I mean, I gotta level up. But I guess I'll skip the necromancer and I'll fight the next monster. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, that's just great. So I skipped two monsters and then I gotta rest. Obviously, the rest would have been nicer earlier. And now if I fight the scavenger, it's super annoying because after the scavenger, I fight the boss. And so if I take damage from the scavenger, I could die against the boss. Well, I'm just gonna hope I can one-shot the scavenger then. Inferno. Bam! All right, we're gonna double Inferno him. Now, the problem with that is now my Infernos are depleted, which means if I draw them before my recharge cards, they don't do anything, but I leveled up, so they, never mind. That's perfect, actually. We level up, and uh, yeah. Cool beans, Beauty Queen. So we got a staff when you deal damage with the spell and increase it by one. I'm not even sure I want this, though, because this takes up a spot in my deck, and it takes up a time to play it when I might rather have just played an extra spell. What about Mana Shield? Block the next three damage you receive. Gain two block when you draw a spell. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, all right, let's do that. I could use some more sustainability. Ghost King, ooh. That's exciting. He has less hit points than the tree guy, so I'm wondering if he's a, like a harder hitting feller. Well, let's spend two stamina to get an extra time. Then let's go Dante on him. Fireball, seems good. Ice Bolt to block some damage, fine. And Meditate 2, hmm. I don't get full value out of this, but I'll do it to bring back the Inferno, I suppose. Two damage? I don't know what that does, and I don't know what that does. Okay, what is this? Icy Touch, your non-spell attacks also freeze. Five damage, two damage if target is frozen. How did he get frozen? I guess it also froze me at the same time. Wait, but this is this is a. Sp oh no, this is a non-spell attack. This is a spell. I don't know why this did five damage. I don't know why I was frozen. But okay, whatever. Without worrying about it too much, let's just see if I can kill him. Ice bolt to block some of his damage. Inferno and fireball should finish him off. Okay, so my spells are missing a, a bunch of charges, unfortunately. Which means if I draw my inferno before I draw a mana card, I will have to discard it. Okay, let's go to the swamp. I haven't really had very good luck in the forest, so... You'd think the forest would be a pretty friendly place, but it's not. Okay, we're up against a filthy gobloid, which, which will level me up, which is good. Got six free damage from Lightning Storm. Um, do I spend a charge? Well, I am going to level up after this, so I get all my charges back. So I might as well just do three damage. Just use my charges liberally here. I mean, this shouldn't actually be relevant, but I don't have to care about the stamina. Two damage, one damage, and an extra card. Three damage, three more damage. No, he discarded it for stamina. Okay. Mana shield. Not helpful. Inferno, it'll kill him, and then I'll get my charge on it back because I level up. Okay, so we're up to level, what is it, six? Level five. Health or stamina? Well, I still don't think I actually need stamina, so let's keep taking the health for sustainability against a bear warrior. Nice that I out hit point him pretty considerably. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta do this. Gotta try to get the jump on this person. Six and another six. And now is a real choice. Because this three damage might make the difference between killing him this turn or killing him next round. I'm actually gonna do this. Well, no, hold on. If I take him down to five, a fireball so it doesn't kill him and Inferno does. No, I'm gonna pass this. Damn it! Well, I might still get an Ice Bolt and kill him. Or a Fireball and kill him. Okay. So I got to keep my Lightning Bolt charge, which is which is valuable. Man, I love that Lightning Bolt spell. I'm really glad I spent the gems to buy it. That was that's a good it's a good time. In fact, I hope I can save up some gold, find a blacksmith shop, and upgrade this thing again. Inferno is out of charge. Which is a shame, because it means the monster lives for a round. So that's three damage. Another... Oh, that's a lot of damage. So a total of seven damage that round, but a pretty simple round. It's good. I'm happy to get the charge back on the Inferno. Do I do this Ice Bolt? Yeah, because by taking him down to four hit points, I open up the opportunity to kill him with a Fireball. And I guess I should do this. Let's get back a Fireball. And 
mana shield. Well, I'm not killing him this turn, so I guess I might as well put up a mana shield. So that blocks a bit of damage. The rest of it's blocked, and now I'm bleeding. So what is this? Block the next three damage, gain plus two block when you draw a spell. Well, I drew a spell. Where's my block? Um, yeah, I don't know how that works. I guess we're just gonna kill the guy. Okay, I think I have enough health that I can still do another fight. Ooh, very interesting choice. So, Temple would let me forget a card. Is there a card I want to forget from here? You know what? Ice bolts. I don't think you're. I don't think you're doing it. I already have a mana shield for some uh, defense. I don't think I want a card in my deck that only deals two damage. Now, of course, when this upgrades, it improves the damage and the survivability aspect. But I think I'd rather just forget this Ice Bolt, because right now I do have that Lightning Bolt in my deck, and so the more often it comes up, the better it is. So getting rid of some of my crappier spells seems worth it. Okay, let's try this Filthy Gobloid. Four damage, and that four damage is not really very good anymore. I, uh... Yeah, I really hope that I can find Blacksmith and upgrade um, some of these Fireballs pretty soon. Really, anything would be nice to upgrade. Okay, so he's doing pretty simple stuff, just doing a lot of attacks, which I like. I, last time when I was in the second level, I got, like, bled all over the place. And I still have an Ice Block and a Lightning Storm, and now I'm going to discard this. I'm going to take a bit of a chance. You know, I think it actually shows up three random spells, because I'm pretty sure I have something that could use a recharge that isn't showing up here. So that's interesting. That means the more of your spells that are missing charges, the, uh, the worse off you are when you draw your Meditates. Because you might not be able to get the thing that you want back. Okay, we're definitely going to the blacksmith. I don't want new cards. I want to upgrade the cards I have. And we got to make some tough choices here. So Lightning Storm deals 3 damage per charge. Man, so that's 9 damage when I draw it. I think that's just got to be right, doesn't it? Yeah, that's got to be the right call. Let's just get that upgraded all the way. And then... What does Mana Shield become? Well, I still don't really understand what the hell it does. This goes from 3 to 5. The rest of it is fine. Block 2 when you draw a spell. I mean, I feel like I drew, I drew a spell and it didn't do anything. Um, I really want my fireballs to do more damage. So we're going to upgrade two of them to go from uh, 4 to 7 for each. Okay. Heal for 20. Gain 2 XP. Right. I need 6 more XP to level up. If I don't need that health, then the, then, then the experience is worth it. I'm going to actually get the experience. So basically, if I end up, you know, dying, then I'm going to regret it, obviously. But if I end up not needing that health, then I might as well have the two free experience. Okay, so the blacksmith was useless because I didn't have enough stuff to um, discard or to, to, to train anything. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this ice, other ice bolt. I'm committed to full fire ahead here. And there's a cultist. Okay. Get back one of these fireball charges, so if I draw that card, I don't uh, just waste it doing nothing. Inferno. Meditate. Let's get back. Oh boy, both of my infernos are missing. I wish I knew which one was the one I just drew. There's no way to tell, is there? That's actually kind of an annoying random element. An attack and an ice bolt. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was significant. So now I am dealing two less damage. Okay, for each of my cards. And I got walloped pretty good. Well, good thing I have mana shield, I guess. Did I gain two block because I drew a spell? Oh, I guess I did. I'm at five block, right? Block the next three damage. Oh, yeah, okay, so there, it registered. Fireball two. Meditate two is good. I can get back both these charges on the fireball. Another fireball two. Okay, I hope I can survive a turn. I do have seven block, so that's good. He's healing. Ooh, for eight. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious me. All right, Inferno is a dead card, unfortunately. Lightning Storm deals a bunch of damage. Can I afford not to do this damage right here? I mean, I'm only going to deal one because I'm frozen for two, so yeah, it doesn't make any sense to do it. Inferno, thank you for coming back. And Fireball 2 should kill him even through the freeze. So I've got a bunch of depleted spells, unfortunately, but I leveled up. Oh my goodness, that's good. All right, so I got away with murder there. I, I leveled up, and I have two more experience than I would otherwise. All right, we have Mind's Eye 2, 
Restore charge to four item spells. You know what? That has to be it, man. I'm starting to have a lot of charges missing, so, uh, yeah. I think... And, and I have a lot of spells, so I have a lot of, like, spells that are each missing a charge. So I think that's really useful. Okay, filthy gobloid, show me what you got. Meditate. Um, might as well. Gain the extra time. Mana shield, good. Get some damage blocking. Okay, all my meditates were up front, which is a little bit annoying. And I drew Lightning Storm, which gives me an extra block. I don't think I need to play that, though. Fireball 2, nice. Hey, Mana Shield's pretty solid. I got three block as a base, and then another four because I drew two spells after I played it. Poison 3, oh, Jesus. Jesus Louisus, that's significant. Oh, my lord. All right, so Poison 3 me, or Poison 4, beg your pardon. That means I'm taking 10 damage over four turns. And he ate through my, all my mana shield. Well, let's see if I can finish him off with some spells. That fireball is tragically not upgraded, but it is enough to get the job done. Okay, I wasn't going to dick around with anything there. Let's just get that guy killed before I have to take any more poison. Ooh, that's a tough one. So I can rest and get back eight hit points and all my spell charges or i can gamble on getting some new good cards now i'm gonna rest let's get those, let's get those spell charges back when you play as a wizard resting is more useful i think than for the other classes because of the spell charges especially when you get rid of all your attack cards and have a bunch of spells that were just depleted in the previous fight okay lightning storm continuing to do work i'm still not gonna play it inferno mainly my concern is just my spells need to get upgraded right now up on a bunch of crap. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I need to kill this guy soon. Alright, let's get one of my Infernos back. I guess I'll... Mm, uh, this is my last card, so I have to play it, because otherwise uh, I was just going to take more damage. So it sucks that I drew it last. Luckily, he discarded a poison to gain stamina. See, I wish this... I wish I wasn't here. I wish this was already all over. But, um... Please kill him. Crud. So I recharged a bunch of things, but I still gave him another turn. Luckily, he's really low on stamina, and he again discarded his poison card. But I took a bunch of damage this fight, and I just leveled up. So, um, kind of sucks. Because I uh, am not going to level up for another two fights. And I don't think I can actually do another two fights. Hey, another rest. Okay, yes, I will definitely rest instead of... Taking random treasure, which may or may not be good. Um, clone one of your abilities. Decline their offer, but offer them the card of sign of good faith. Or, ah, I see. So you can either lose the card or get another copy of it. Well, I don't want to lose one of my Fireball 2s. So I'm hoping that getting an extra Fireball 2 in the deck is not bad for me. Okay, let's fight the Buzz Buzz. I could consider skipping the last two monsters. I mean, it's a reasonable choice. Mana Shield's a nice little pickup, and Lightning Storm's a nice little pickup. I am not going to use a charge of it. Oh, that hurts a lot. Oh god, that was painful. So Zap deals double damage if it has full charges. And that ate through my shield with lots of room to spare. There's my unleveled Fireball. And I need another turn to kill this thing. Oh, yikes. That's four damage, another four damage and recharging, and then two damage in a cycle, and another four damage. Well, I definitely can't fight another monster after this. So we finished off with an Inferno. But, um, yeah, I'm three XP shy of getting that sweet, sweet level up. Oh boy, I'm in a lot of trouble here, right? Because I'm gonna have to ignore this and heal eight, but that means I'm going into the final fight with a lot of health missing. Yeah, I messed up. I should have been more conservative. I should have skipped the Buzz Buzz and the one after it, and then I would have had 41 health in all my charges. Now with 23 health, given how much the regular enemies have been doing, I do not think I can actually kill this thing. But we'll do as much as we can before, you know, life goes on. I'm actually going to pick the Inferno, oddly enough, because the Fireball is the card I just played, whereas the Inferno is still in my deck. So I want to make sure that if I had drawn the Inferno next, I didn't pass on a chance to play it. There's 4 damage, there's a bunch of poison, and a bunch more poison. And a Hex. I do not know what Hex does. Let's see. Hex. Deal 7 damage and a Curse. Well, a Curse is a card that does nothing, of course. So yeah, I'm at, uh, I'm at 6 health. 
And this guy's got a lot of hit points. And yeah, so I just didn't quite have enough health. If I had had, you know, an extra 18 health or whatever I could have had, then maybe I would have had a chance. But as it is, I just died of that second hex. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe if you did. And uh, in the future, we'll come on back here. One more fight will hopefully give me enough gems to buy another card. And uh, that's what's going to happen. I'll see you guys soon.